how to use alpha channels and styles and filters in Affinity Photo. Great, something amazing like this heart design. I'm going to remove it now. And first thing to do, go over to the tools and the various shapes. There's a whole range of different shapes. You can modify them as well. I'm going to go for the heart. A basic heart design. I'm not going to modify it in any way. Now you'll need two panels here, a view, studio and layers and styles. You can see those there. And you can apply a style straight away. But I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go to layer and duplicate. Because what I want is two hearts like Doctor Who. Go to select and selection from a layer. Because what I want that is for to stop the alpha channel going across the entire image. Filters and colors and procedural texture. There's a whole range of different presets available. Some I've created in earlier videos, but I'm going to use waves in this one. I'm just going to go with a very basic one that's available without any changes to the presets. Waves. Now I'm not going to change any value, but what I want to do is remove the R, G, and B and use A. Click apply. Now you can't see anything. Doesn't look any different because you've got red and red. But you can see in the layers a slight change. So I'm just going to change the color of the lower heart. Now you can see the wave design. You can also apply a style at any point as well to that lower design. There you are. You've got that lovely frosted design there straight away. And apply it to the top heart as well. Now what you can do then is select and deselect. So you've deselected it. Go to the lower heart. And you can apply a style to that. So you've got a very nice sort of heart design straight away. But what I want, I want to use transparency with that as well. If you go to filters, colors, and procedural texture. And again, go to waves. And you can see the design there. Put a one in front of there, one minus. So you get the opposite of, of the equation. And R and G and B deselect, put A. Straight away, you can see the problem. You get this extended alpha channel. I don't want that. So what I need to do is go to select and selection from layer. I just wanted to show you that's what happens if you don't use that. So again, go back to the filters, colors, procedural texture. And waves. Keep the setting there, same, R and G and B, set A. But I want now, I want the opposite of what I had before. So put one in front of that, one minus. You've got the alpha channel in the gaps. So just put one minus. Simple as that. Go to then apply. You're still on that lower layer and then apply a style. You got the style applied to that lower heart. Remove the selection. Now you can select both of the shapes, both of the layers via the layer panel. And then just go through all of the styles available. You could also use layer effects. You can find those at the bottom of the layers panel. And of course you can apply styles to individual shapes as well. But you can use those styles. You can create your own styles, of course, and apply those. Not just the default Affinity Photo styles. And there you have it. Amazing heart designs or any other shape used with circles, donuts, as well as other layers. You can go to layer effects at the bottom of the layers panel and you can modify 
So you can remove the 3D, remove the outline. Up to you. Add a blur or inner shadow. Click close. And there you have it. Absolutely beautiful design. Very quickly using the alpha channel via a filter. And what you can do, you can move it around, duplicate it, create multiple copies and much, much more. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Affinity Photo, as well as please add a comment or two, as well as a dislike or like. Thank you much.